Have you guessed the movie right? If yes, then do comment and tell us the movie name and if not then enjoy watching it. But first, you need to like and subscribe to our channel Retelsi for commenting and more videos like this. A man emerges on the scene at the start of the movie. He is a radio personality. He's also providing some amusing remarks. Following that, a driving truck with a lot of chemical is spotted. A rabbit suddenly appears in front of the truck, and the truck driver loses control of his vehicle in order to save it. As a result, a chemical drum that had been housed in the truck is dumped into the water. In the next scene, we see an elderly man, and he was fascinated by discovering and catching diverse spider species. He'd also taken a swarm of spiders up with him. For his spiders, that old man now captures some of the insects in the stream. The chemical drum had fallen into the same creek. That old man now feeds those insects to his spiders. Those were the same insects he'd caught in the creek. As he feeds the insects to his spiders, they grow in size. It signifies that they are larger than usual. A young boy named Mike appears in the next scene. And, like that old man, he was likewise fascinated by spiders. He was looking at those spiders with that old man one day. A spider emerges from its cage at the same time. However, they are both unaware of it. Along with that man, that man was examining those spiders. The alarm on his watch starts to ring at the same time. So he says to that elderly man, the moment has come for me to leave. After saying it, Mike walks away. When that brave man returns to those spiders after Mike has left, from all of the cages, he notices that one was vacant. It showed that the spider had gotten out of the cage. That old man is upset because he can't find his spider, so he starts looking for that spider. Then he notices the spider on his back, which was progressively turning him upside down. It then bites him on the neck. As a result, that old man begins to experience excessive agony, and the old man is attempting to push it aside. However, he also unlocked the remaining cages doors by accident. As a result, he had liberated all of his spiders. It indicates that they had escaped the cage. They're all attacking that old man now, like if they're one. That old man dies on the spot as a result of this. Mike appears once a timer has been set. He was also going to see the old man. At the same moment, he comes upon a sheriff and a deputy on his route. Sheriff is revealed to be the mother of Mike in this scene. Mike's mother started telling him about the stream. Because of the chemical, the water in this stream has been poisoned. As a result, stay away from this stream. Then his mother comes up to him and says, where are you going right now? Mike responds by saying, that old man is going to meet me. Mike's mother prevents him from going there after hearing it. She then returns to the house, accompanied by him. First and foremost, Mike makes contact with that elderly gentleman as soon as he enters the house. However, it is clear that that man died a long time ago. The phone rings as a result, but no one answers. On the other hand, a meeting about citizens' lands was taking place in the Prosperity Mall. The mayor demands that every one of them sell their lands. In truth, he was doing so because the city's ground was riddled with mines. As a result, the mayor requests that everyone sell their own land. However, some residents of this town believed that gold could be found in the mines, and it was for this reason that they refused to sell their properties. Suddenly, a man named Chris arrives at the meeting. He also expressly prevents the mayor from selling his property. He then departs from that location. Deputy and his wife are later spotted. Suddenly, a spider appears in their home. In addition, it kills their cat. That deputy and his wife are terrified after seeing that. Because the spider was so large, and they had never seen such a massive spider before in their lives. On the other hand, Mike is spotted going to meet the old man while hiding from his mother. However, when he arrives at the old man's residence, he notices the house is covered in spider webs. There was also the worst state of that location. In addition, not all spiders were kept in the cages. Seeing it, Mike has been agitated. He also discovers an old man's shoe at that location, so he goes on the hunt for him. In the meantime, he discovers a shattered leg. He is the one who owns it. After then, a large spider appears. Seeing that, Mike is terrified, and he makes his way out of there. Following that, Chris, who used to like Mike's mother sheriff, 
appears. He also proposes marriage to her. He also brings flowers for her and invites her out on a date. Mike's mom is on board with it. When Mike returns to his house after that, then, on the way, he runs into Chris and forces Mike to seat in his car. What have you caught in your hand? Chris asks Mike. Then Mike tells him the whole thing. He claims that it is the spider's broken leg, and that spider, to whom this leg belongs, is quite large. In addition, I am currently witnessing a large spider. It is insufficient, but there are other other spiders that are similar to it. Chris, on the other hand, does not believe his own comments in this situation. While Mike makes every effort to explain things to him, despite this, Chris does not believe the story he has been told. As he returns home, Mike attempts to communicate this information to his mother. His mother, like Chris, does not believe in him. Spiders, on the other hand, attack the mayor's ostrich, and one by one, they begin to eat. The mayor has no idea what's going on. So, what's going on here? A man is seen working in the mine in the following scene. The water then abruptly stops flowing from the pipe. He then tries to smuggle the water pipe into his mouth. Meanwhile, the water pipe has let a swarm of spiders into his mouth. As he opens his lips, all spiders begin to flee. At the same time, a large spider approaches and kills him. The mayor's daughter and the sheriff's son are then seen in a car together. Then a debate ensues, with an issue being raised. So, after startling him, the sheriff's daughter leaves. At the same time, the mayor examines a few of the spiders, which were getting closer to him. Later, the mayor's son and his companions attempt to flee. All spiders catch and eat his companions after murdering them. However, the mayor's son is able to run in any way. When you look at it, you'll notice that the spiders have grown in size. As a result, they make humans their victims while attacking them. Those spiders make their home in the city's underground mines. After that, it is discovered that a spider has entered Chris' home, where the spider assaults his dog and drags it into the mines. Because my path was also related to their residence, Chris's mother also comes up to the front door of my house, looking for her dog, and she does so while looking for the dog. She is also attacked by a large spider. As a result, she yells, and Chris follows suit after hearing her yell. He also notices a spider's leg that is quite large. Seeing it, he begins to believe in Mike's story, because the spiders had grown in size. As a result, he sets out to meet Mike. When Chris arrives at Mike's residence, he notices the spider's large leg. After seeing it, Mike exclaims, this leg of the spider is bigger than the last leg. It implies that those spiders have expanded in size as well. Their appetite has also grown as a result, and there is no better choice for them to satisfy their hunger than humans. They're still talking when they hear Mike's sister screaming. They rush to her room as they hear it, where they observe as they approach that she is caught in a web by a spider. Chris tries to put an end to this spider. He is then entrapped by a spider. Mike's mother kills the spider right away by shooting it with her gun. Both are protected in this way. Sheriff had recognized the danger because he had witnessed it. As a result, she contacts deputy. She also requests that all firearms be brought to her home. She's also considering how the people of the entire city could be notified. Then Mike advises that we use the radio message to inform everyone. The sheriff then rushes to the radio station after hearing Mike's offer, where she witnesses how spiders have wreaked havoc across the city. They all arrive at that radio station after that. A man was already working there. This is the same radio host now, who were seen in the beginning of the film. The man who can give a witty remark. The sheriff informs everyone about the spiders here. She also proclaims on the radio that if you love your life, you should go to the Prosperity Mall. To protect the citizens, the sheriff had chosen this location, B, because it had the toughest defenses. This would allow everyone to live in peace. When the sheriff is speaking on the radio, at the same time, a huge spider appears and assaults them. Everyone is terrified after seeing that spider. On the other hand, the city's residents regarded the news as a joke because the radio personality has a habit of making jokes during radio broadcasts. When they see spiders in their environment, 
though they begin to believe. As a result, they begin to dash to the mall. Sheriff and Chris also manage to elude the enormous spider. They arrive at the Prosperity Mall. The mall is also accessible to the rest of the city's residents. Those spiders, on the other hand, had arrived here while chasing the people. As a result, they assault the people. Those people, on the other hand, face them head on despite their fear, because they didn't have any other choice. Some individuals enter the mall, while others are killed on the street. These folks could no longer save them without specialized assistance. As a result, he advises that we summon the troops, because the military is the only one who can aid us in this situation. When the sheriff hears it, he declares that all phone lines have been disconnected. As a result, we are unable to contact the military. Meanwhile, the mayor informs me that I own a cell phone. As a result, there is a requirement to call and go up on the roof due to network concerns. As a result, Chris and the radio host move to the roof to complete this task. When Chris and that radio host arrive on the roof, Mike presents Chris with a perfume, and he advises, use it when it's needed, because spiders have a higher sense of smell, and the spider's sense of smell will be harmed by this fragrance. Chris and the radio host then proceed to the building. They proceed to the tower and attempt to resolve the network problem. After correcting the signal problem, Chris makes an emergency call. He also claims military assistance is urgently necessary. However, no one is taking this call seriously, thus it is disconnected. After that, a huge spider appears, damaging the Prosperity Mall's shutter. As a result, all little spiders enter the mall and attack shoppers. When that radio DJ draws spider's attention to himself in order to secure Chris, he then leaps through the roof. The spiders are concentrating on the radio host. Then, after escaping, Chris walks on. Later, everyone is assembled in one location. They intend to proceed through the mines from there. According to the plan, they begin to exit through the mines. They were unaware, however, that those spiders live in mines. They are now being attacked by a spider. The remainder of the people then come to a halt. Seeing it, they begin to move from one location to the next where they all see the bodies of numerous people who have died along the journey. After observing all the dead bodies, Mike tells them that those spiders haven't yet consumed these lifeless bodies. It alludes to the fact that these bodies are for that colossal spider. It will consume them to satisfy its hunger. Following that, they see a mayor who got caught in the spider's web. They let him go and note that it has not died. Then Chris decides to enter the mine by himself in order to protect these victims because it's possible that her mother is still alive. Before Chris left, the sheriff accepted his request. Chris devises a strategy. The mines were now filled with a gas. As a result, Chris tells the sheriff, turn on the generator. We're moving outside. No one understands why he wants to do such a thing. When the sheriff hears Chris' orders, he goes outside. Chris, on the other hand, begins her hunt for her mother. He finally locates his mother, who is still alive, as he was leaving the location with his mom. Then the biggest spider, the enormous spider, appears. When Chris and his mother see that spider, they are terrified. When the spider is about to attack Chris, he recalls the perfume that Mike gave him, and then he sprays that spider with the perfume. The spider's sense of smell is temporarily impaired as a result of this. Chris sneaks away from his mother with his, taking advantage of the situation. However, while going to change a spark paper in it, Chris destroys a bulb. As a result, when the generator is turned on, this spark paper may burn. It's also possible that the field gas will burst. Then, while adjusting the spark paper, Chris walks away. On the other hand, the sheriff and everyone else appears to have escaped the mine safely. She emerges from it and switches on the generator. When the generator is turned on, the adjusted spark paper is placed on flame. As a result, there is a huge explosion. But before the mine explodes, Chris emerges, carrying his mother. This explosion has put a stop to all of those spiders. All of these people have been rescued, and it's at this point that the film comes to an end.